Hey YouTube, it's Boston Girl, and I said I would make more videos, and I was reading something on the web that says if you want to keep your subscribers, you need to make videos, and for some reason I have been getting subscribers, so I'm going to do, I went to the doctors today, I'm officially 34 weeks, and um, it wasn't the best appointment. She said I'm gaining too much weight, which they've been saying all through my pregnancy, and I feel like I'm all stomach or whatever, but... And I'm not knocking her because I definitely feel huge. And um, with having weight issues in the past, I just gone for broke with this pregnancy and ate anything and everything I wanted. So the key to is what am I going to do after the birth? And then I asked her, um, is there any way to make this happen earlier? Because I'm just over being pregnant and she's like no we don't do that anymore it has to be a medical reason I was like wow anymore you don't do that anymore that's interesting so uh, pretty much she had me on my back and when they laid me on my back I started getting sick you know and I said because the baby's like pressing against the organs or whatever so I almost threw up and I had to lay on my side for a while and they did the gestational diabetes test again. This will be the third time I had to do this test. Now mind you, I've um, done it twice before and passed. And I didn't just pass a little. I passed like very well. It wasn't on the borderline or anything. So I passed. And now they're, they're like, well this is a big baby. You know what I mean? I'm like, well I'm six feet. He was six two. I mean, I don't know. But I wasn't necessarily a big baby. I was like only six pounds or something. But you know, I was also born early. So anyways, so they want to do it again. I'm praying to God I pass this test because I do not want to take insulin and check my blood sugars and all that crap. I'm just waiting for her to be born. So with my carpal tunnel thing, I got a shot in my wrist. Which, it didn't really hurt. It, it was funny because he was like, oh, you did it so much better than half the men that come in here or whatever. But by the next day, my hand was numb and I couldn't even do this. You know, it took another day for my um, hand to get it together. My wrist is still kind of jacked up. And he gave me a doctor's note so, like, I could stop working. Well, the thing about stop working is... Um, and I don't know if I said this before, so excuse me if I have. You know, I'll be bored at home, doing nothing, waiting around for the baby to be born. And that could be six weeks from now. And I will be getting like 60% of my pay, which I'm not feeling that. You know, um, I'm just not ready to call it quits. Now, maybe in a couple weeks, I might be ready. But because I'm 34 weeks, I'm going to be working on my hospital bag this weekend. I'm going to get a list and put it all together and put it in my car for just in case. Because I don't know when this could possibly happen. And my friends, I'm going to put them on high alert. So you never know when the baby's coming. Anyways, so that's my plan. I am over being pregnant like... Just the symptoms. I don't know. You know, I've been watching YouTube videos and the people on there are fairly young. I guess I should look up older moms getting pregnant or whatever. Like, my hands are like sausages. They're like huge. My feet are like swollen and they're huge. My stomach is sticking way out, so it's definitely huge. But it's so funny because, you know, people made me feel better because um, when I she was complaining about my weight and whatever. Um, if this was a big woman too. So she was like, well, I totally understand and I get it, but um, just drink water. Water doesn't seem to quench my thirst. I've been, I drink water. I feel like I'm about to float a, a damn way, but it's not quenching my thirst. So I have been drinking diet juice. I know it's not the best, but that's what the frick I've been drinking. At first I was drinking regular juice and I guess it had so much sugar in it or whatever. And I know I need to get back to my food plan eventually. But right now, you know, I'm just trying to wing it. It took all my strength today just to wash the dishes. And I know when she gets here, it's <laughs> it's going to be totally interesting. I'm praying that I have like the easiest baby 
ever. You know, that would be God blessing me in a big way if I had an easy, easy peasy baby. But we'll see. Um, other than that, oh, I'm having a hard time going to sleep and a hard time getting up. Those two things, like every morning, I want to use my doctor's note to say I'm, I'm done working. But you know, after I get up going, which I am like late to work every day, after I get up going, I, t I seem to get there and I'm still training the temp or whatever. So that's what's going on there. You know, I just wash my hair, I'm like fresh out the shower. I like wish my hair would stay this way and I haven't found a product to put on it for it to stay this way, I guess. I don't know. I'm a lazy natural hair person. Very, very lazy. And I know I need to get back to my reviews on natural hair and it'll probably be when I have energy or time, because I have neither. I have time. It's just the energy is lacking, and I'm like laying on the bed all the time. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go with this channel. I guess, you know, because I was reading something, and they said, well, if you want to do different things like reviews or whatever, put it on another channel. And I'm like, well, I want everything on one channel. Can everything be on one channel? Do I have to like populate several channels I don't know that's something I'm gonna have to think about either way that's my update from my doctor's appointments and um, I go back to them in two weeks and then I go to the fetal medicine person and get another ultrasound in three weeks and then I go to the physical therapist in two weeks so I have a lot of appointments or whatever I don't know the baby might come next week. Who knows? You know, they come when they're ready. And I'm not always convinced that the first baby comes late. Because my friend had a couple babies and they both came very early. Not very early, like 37 weeks. So you never know. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, YouTube.